Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Rajmi Rai. Now I'll be teaching about global warming. As we know that sun is the main source of heat and energy to our Earth, without sun, our Earth would have been really very cold. And the average temperature of the Earth would have been minus 18 degrees Celsius without sun. Sun exists, therefore, living organisms that are living, they are surviving in our Earth. But we know that too much amount of heat is also not good for the survival of living things. It means that balance, temperatures are required or needed for the survival of living things in our Earth. Something is maintaining or balancing the temperature of our Earth. But what is maintaining or balancing the temperature of our Earth? And the answer is greenhouse gases. There are so many greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, CO2, methane, CH4, nitrous oxide, N2O, water vapor, H2O, ozone, O3, etc. So these are the greenhouse gases and these greenhouse gases that are maintaining or they are balancing the temperature of our earth. But how? So those greenhouse gases, they form like a trap around our earth and those greenhouse gases, they trap some amount of heat of the sun and doesn't allow that heat to really back or to go back into the space and this process is known as greenhouse effect. Through the process of greenhouse effect, the temperature for the offer earth has been balanced or maintained. But nowadays what's happening is the amount of greenhouse gases that are increasing or they have increased due to human activities like burning of fossil fuels, coal, petroleum, natural gas, everything the transportation vehicles they are emitting harmful and toxic gases even industries and the factories are also emitting harmful and toxic gases this is increasing the amount of greenhouse gases and this greenhouse gases they are trapping more heat of the sun and doesn't allow that heat to escape or to read it back into the space as a result the temperature of the earth is rising continuously and this process is known as global warming Global warming means gradual rise in temperature of the earth. Water vapor contribute 36 to 70 percentage. Carbon dioxide 9 to 26 percentage. Methane 4 to 9 percentage. Ozone contribute 3 to 7 percentage in global warming. Now I've been explaining about the effects of global warming. There are so many effects of global warming like melting of glaciers, increasing sea level, extension of desert or desertification, climate change, increase of diseases, etc. These are few or these are some of the effects of global warming. Because of global warming, glaciers are melting. As glaciers are melting, what's happening? There is rise in the sea level. As a result of sea level rising, some of the coastal areas on the islands are getting submerged. And another effect of global warming is extension of desert or desertification. Because of global warming, natural vegetation are getting hampered or spot. As a result, lands are getting barren. Or we can also say that for time swell, they are converting themselves into the infertile swell. And this is how desertification is taking place due to global warming and another effect is climate change. Climate change is also one of the effects of global warming. As we know that we are seeing the, there are climate changes in the world. The drought, floods, long summers, long winters that are taking place in different parts of the world. And an important increase of diseases because of global warming, various bacteria, various viruses, various deadly diseases have Come on, so these are some of, these are some or a few effects of global warming.